So, I gather this is the heap. But what manner of place is it? The heap is a cruel city, unrelenting. Merciless to those who don't kiss up to its seedy underbelly. Which many don't, because it's gross. But now the chaos and the violence are worse than ever. The streets run red with wisps, and sometimes blue. The city cries out for a hero. For the sh- Did you hear something, wizard? No? Must have been the wind. I'm given to understand it sounds like voices sometimes. Now let us begin our search for a monitoring station. Welcome back to the Craft Box, and we're on episode 200, 323, in fact. Hey, hey, you looking at that wisp? No, no, sir. I would never. Yeah, I think you were looking at that wisp. Thinking of taking it, huh? Cast yourself some spells, huh? Little hocus pocus, yeah? Boss ain't gonna like you stealing a wisps like this. No siree. Ladies, show them what happens when you steal from Dr. Prune. Yikes! Help me! Someone! Um, right. It looks like we have to defeat some irregulars. But yeah, we are back in Heap this time. Very cool. One of my favorite places in the spiral. Um, yeah, we don't need that. I didn't clear my deck after last time, so that's fun. Um, hopefully we don't have any too bad spells in here. <laughs> I don't actually know what we have. Um, I think it might have been to take a thumbnail, so we may just have prisms, which is good. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I could be wrong um but yeah these guys um we little storm boys um the the cow the cows the rank 18 obviously um there's also life ones these storm ones have 3840 health which isn't too bad um we're probably gonna blade once more and then hit sounds like a good plan we need to take out that wanted in the prisms though that is for sure um, so yeah, welcome back. Hope you've enjoyed. If you haven't seen the last episode, you should. We finished off Sky City, um, and we are now in, uh, the Heap, which is the last, the last technically area, because we go back to Telos afterwards. Um, but yeah, so that's exciting. That's exciting. And Heap is just honestly so cool. It's so different from anything else. Um, well, of course that would stun me. Of course that would stun me right now. How dare they? How dare they? This is just absolutely rude and disgraceful. How would they do this to me? Upsetting. Um, but yeah, it's just so different. Um, it's like completely black and white, which is cool. Apart from all of the mobs, it's kind of... This fight has not gone my way at all. Like, at all. At all. This is just rude. Both blades gone. Stunned and blades gone in one round. This sucks. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm like, this fight will be so easy. You know, Storm will just, like, blade up a couple times and then hit, and boom, dead. But no, we get stunned and bl blade removed at the same time. Love it. Love to see it. Love to see it. It's my favorite thing. Um, we'll hit with Ship of Fools next, and then we'll probably hit with another Ship of Fools after that, because that seems to be, like, what we have to do. Luckily, as long as they don't have Enfeeble, they can't remove my blade for a bit, which is good. Watch them Enfeeble me right now. It's gonna happen. I've put it into the universe, it's gonna happen. They didn't, wow. That's a surprise. I thought they would have loved to Enfeeble me. Also, they did a decent amount of damage, I'm surprised. I am surprised. These guys are pretty good, actually. I was jo joking about them being bad, they're not bad, they're, they're pretty decent. Be careful. Be careful. They, they they do damage. They remove blades. They stun you. Like, everything in Lemuria just stuns you ridiculous amount of times. Um, we didn't kill. We do need another one, which is why I wanted a second blade. But they decided, no, you can try with one blade. That makes sense. We'll use Scarecrow. We'll have a bit of diversity today for the first fight. You know, you get to see two, two hits instead of one. Don't worry. I'm there for you guys. I, I understand. You don't like me just using Ship of Fools or just Scarecrow. We got to see both of them in the same fight. It's just how it works, obviously. Definitely. Right. Hopefully, they're dead. They are dead. Very dead. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, pig. Pig. Cow. Get out of here. Get out of here, cow. See you later. Oh, you're in for it now. I'm telling Dr. Prune, and she's going to be mighty consternated. 
I don't know what consternated means, but it doesn't sound good. Thanks so much, Pally. I swear, I wasn't pinching no wisps. I was just walking by and it popped in on the street. Ain't say nothing like it. It started happening a lot, though, see? Be making all the gangs antsy because they hoard the amount of wisps. You get me? That means they can cast the spells and we can't cast nothing. So they can lord over us and divide our city into toifs. But now you come along with magic of your own. Quite a show, that. All that zip zap powwow. Take that, you Pudlucas. So what brings you here? Old one? Which old one? Maybe you ought to talk to the chief. I'm sure he'd want to meet you. Come on, I'll show you the way. Okie dokie. The pips are plenty. Oh my gosh. Pip are plenty. That every pet gets. Because, yes, King Zal, why have you done this? I'm stealing the wisps. I don't care what they say. I want to yoink all of the wisps. They are mine. I own the streets of heap. I am the heap street. Hey, you! I saw you looking at the wisp. That's property of Mr. Prim Reaper. Go get him, fellas. Go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Death and myth. That's fun. We're going to keep our prisms in for this one, I think. Uh, but yeah, now we have some more cows, but the bull cows. Very cool. Um, they have wee little star ones. Kind of cute. Kind of cute, not going to lie. Um, death, 4,590 health. Not too bad. Um, we'll have many weaknesses and be really annoying. So that's fun. But also they will faint. So that's cool. That's cool. Vampire. The monster mesh, watch it be. Oh no, just vampire. Wow, okay. Surprised. Very surprised. Uh, fair enough. I mean, he couldn't have even cast um, monster mesh, but that's beside the point. That's beside the point, okay? They're just loving their four pip spells. Holy moly. Ship of Fools. You see, obviously, Ship of Fools is a good spell to cast because I use it. And if they use it and I use it, then it means it must be the best death spell. Obviously. Because they won't... Gecko, they'll just ship a fools because they don't have enough pips. It's just how it works. It's just how it works, unfortunately. Um, but we can scarecrow. But I also want a prism. I want a prism first. We'll prism and then hit next. Easy clap, GG. One shot, get out of here. That's the plan. That's the plan, and it will succeed because my plans never fail. Ever. He just destroyed himself. Love to see it. Love to see it. Um, for a cute wee little 25 blade on his partner and watch the partner use the <laughs> use the blade to give his partner a blade because that would be funny and that's happened way too many times i i'm actually surprised how many times that has actually happened he's not using it yet that's a good good idea um but yeah i'm like really surprised at how often that happens i don't know if that's like a thing that they just randomly happen or if it's like a thing that is like specifically coded in that if you have a dark pact, you must give your partner a dark pact in, in return, you know? Just, that would be kind of funny. Ooh, brace. Ooh, not brace. Even better, we do more damage. Ha ha, loser. Ha 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 ha. Right, here we go. Let's kill. Crit, blade, and dead. Oh, prisms as well. And dead. Get out of here. Get out of here. Lovely. Easy clap. Slow death, but that's fine. Oh, Prim Reaper ain't gonna take this well. well. That's not my problem. You're the one who started on me. Thanks again, Mac. This ain't no way to live. Good thing we got someone trying to establish law and order and lock up all the gangsters. Fella calls himself Dog Tracy. And he's in there. Talk to him. If anyone can find your old man, he can. My old man. I mean, I, I don't think he's my old man, but that's fine. If you think he is, that's cool. That's that's cool. Right. Dog Tracy, hello. Hey there, Junior. Here to report a crime? Don't worry. Dog Tracy's on the case. Old one? Sounds new. I'll add him to my list. Heap is under siege. Siege, I tells you. By crime lords. Or lords whose lordship is criminal to my eye. I'm talking Dr. Prume, the Prim Reaper, Pips Moolis, all supercharged on this fresh mana and ready to pop like zits full of thunder snakes. I have to find these mugs before their feuds erupt into full-scale war. Go ask my lab assistant to fill out a report on this old one. Okie dokie, Tessa, Tessa Trueheart, hello. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, hello there. Did Tracy send you? 
Busy boy, isn't he? <laughs> My name is Tessa Trueheart. How can I help? Ask her about the old one. The frescoes and murals that have indicated his monitoring stations in past adventures. Sorry, there's nothing like that here. We're not big on artistic flourishes. You've seen this place, not exactly a thriving society, are we? Story goes, a tentacle monster plucked our ancestors from Memoria and abandoned them here. Cut off from mana and life forces of other regions. Why would he do that? Surely he must have some way of monitoring this experiment. Listen, would you do me a favor? Poor Tracy's working himself up about the gangs. Could you remind him that he still owes me dinner? Oh, 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 oh. We're, it's a love story now? What? Who would have thought? Dinner? There's no time for dinner! There's crimes to solve! Mana crimes! I have a blackboard with them all listed! But there's no time for blackboards, or walking to other rooms! Just tell Tessa I can't make it to dinner tonight! Oof. Men's just really be like that. This is so sad. Tessa, I'm sorry. He's skipping dinner again? Sometimes I wish I were a criminal cow or a secret font of mana. Then maybe I could get some attention from Mr. Dog Tracy. Secret font of mana? Oh yes, wizard. Years ago, one of the gang bosses, we to this day still don't know which, found one and used it to power up loyal lieutenants. All the gangs descended, hurling firecats like stones, and dividing up the town and forcing their own corrupt order. Interesting. Perhaps this mystery boss also discovered secrets of the old one, like the water moles. Let us inquire further with Dog Tracy. Okay. We're getting a lot of narration from design here. This is great. Oh, hello. New person. Welcome back, Junior. While you were gone, I infiltrated a bootleg potion distillery and arrested Pips Moolis himself. I'll get you for this, Dog Tracy. All right, spill it, you louse. You're making these potions to fight somebody. Take their turf. Who is it? Prune? Prim? Happy Haymaker? I want a name. Yeah, okay. The Golden Lion. I don't know that name, but I will. Just need to shake a few trees. What do you say, Junior? Want to come with? Let's go. Okie dokie. This man's is really, like, energetic and full on. It's great. I love it. Um, right. Back on the mean streets of Heap. What do we got over here? No sign of Tracy. He really zoomed away, didn't he? But I think this mana font is the lead we must follow to the monitoring station anyway. Perhaps these nearby gangsters know where their supplier is. We ain't telling you nothing. Matter of fact, give us your mana, and your gold, and your pet. And my pet, no thank you. Anything but Luna. Um, right, I'll be back in just a sec. He's up already. I'll talk, I'll talk. And you can keep your pet, yeesh. Right, we're back. We did it. One fight, not too bad. Look, I don't know where the mana comes from. One of the bosses, I guess. But which one? It's something only they know. Golden Lion? Never heard of anybody called that. But I do know a boss you can get to. Well, former boss. Bit of a klutz, this guy. We calls him Bumbles. He still runs the Honey Bee Diner in Dr. Prune territory. Maybe he knows something you can use. Level up! Woo! Nice! Um, we are now level 148. Sweet, only two levels left. Very cool, very epic. Um, Honeybee Diner is just down here. Hello? Oh. Ah, there you are, Junior. Ready for an adventure? Then into the diner! That's just where we were going. Wow, who would have thought? Who would have thought? Right, let's do this. Let's do this. Um, yeah, this is probably going to be the last little bit for today, but... We'll do this. We'll do this instance. A very cool diner. Very, very cool. Um, right. Aha! Dr. Prunes Irregulars. I knew you'd be here. Pressuring Bumbles for treasure card kickbacks again? Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Well, not on my watch, Missy. You're under arrest. Um, right. I'll be back in a second because we've fought these guys before except they're ice and fire. One day, these mugs will learn stealing treasure cards doesn't pay. Evil magma peas. Now that's the money racket. Onward, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I like that. I will give you one more chance only, Bumbles. Where is the golden lion? Speak! <laughs> How on 
unfortunate. The lion's day is done. We all have mana now. So you need to. Well, 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 if it isn't Dr. Victoria Von Prune herself. How's the face? I hear you had a nasty incident of grape juice in the eye. That is nothing compared to what you're about to feel. You shouldn't have come here, dog, Tracy. Right. A boss. We haven't actually fought a boss in, like, a wee while. Um, I am going to put in some prisms because probably, uh, probably a little bit of a resisty boy because Shadow, but that's fine. Um, I think we should be good, though. With the faint, yeah, we should be fine. Right. Let's do this. Dr. Prune and her minion, which is rank 19 storm, rank 18 storm. Uh, we fought the minion before and then her, she has 13,200 health. Not too bad. Um, we do also have dog Tracy here to help us. A very cool spell. It does a bit of damage and then a random heal to everybody, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very surprised. Please don't hurt me. Please heal. Please heal. Please heal. Please heal. 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 Pog, heal, heal, heal. Nope, this is upsetting. This is so sad. This is tragic. It's absolutely tragic. Oh, well. Oh, hello. No pip gain for four rounds. What? You expect me to just sit here and not gain any pips? How dare you? How dare you, Dr. Prune? Uh, she does not cheat, so anything that she does do um, is just naturally what she does. We've got four rounds of no pip gain, so that's great. We'll just blade up a little bit. We'll remove that. Easy clap. Easy clap remove. Um, yeah. I mean, we've got no pip gain. Might as well. <laughs> Might as well. I'm not going to be hitting while we've got no pip gain. We'll just blade up as much as we can. Uh, we're probably going to get Leviathan straight in the face, but yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Whatever, we'll deal with it. We'll deal with it. We have a reshuffle, I believe, so we should be fine. Should be fine. I do want a prism as well before we actually hit. Um, we are going to draw for a uh, removal. A removal, a cleansy boy. She's blading up for a leviathan. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rip blades. Rasulka. Hello. Hello. That's a bit scary. That's, that's not called for. I did not ask for this behavior here, Dr. Prune. Um, this is not very healthy. Someone called Dr. Prune, I expect you to be a little bit more healthy for me. I am nearly dead. This is not cool or good. Okay, we are hitting, like, ASAP. Right, right now we are hitting. We are hitting right now. Right now we hit. We, we have to. We are dying. Oh no, scary. This could kill me. Why did I know this was going to happen? Like, what? I just I just knew that was going to happen. This is going to kill me. I'm going to die. No, I'm going to die. Oh, I haven't died much. I haven't died much, but um, this is one of those instances where death is just inevitable, unfortunately. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. One death for this whole time, I think. I think we've only had one death, I think. It's actually not too bad, honestly. Not too bad. Um, you know, it happens. It happens. All we do is we just try again. Except they don't want to fight me. Very sad. Right. Okay. We try again. These guys, big damage. We, we don't like. We don't like it. Let's not faint this time for a bit. Um, we will prism right off the bat. Sounds good, good, good. Kablamo. We do go first, which is a benefit as well. Um, because we were not first like. Oh my gosh, Rasulka right off the bat. What is this? Oh my gosh. This is insane. All she knows is Rasulka. And it does so many damages. <laughs> I think the reason why Rasulka did a lot is that she had a blade. Plus, also a feint as well. Because I had a plus 30 on me. So, yeah, it was not great. It was not great. Not one of my best moments. If I blade and hit next, then we good. We kill minion, maybe. Maybe. Sounds good. Sounds like an opportunity. I think as long as the minion's gone, we can be good. Because the minion is the one that's really annoying. Because blade removal. Because blade removal sucks. Brace? No. Okay, that's fine. We appreciate. We appreciate that. Let's go for a scarecrow. Right now. Um, we'll enchant that. One blade scarecrow. Sounds good. Sounds fine. Scarecrow does more than ship. And we'll just 
blade up for a Grim Reader on the boss. And I think that should be good. I think that should be good. Okay, that was pretty decent. None of them died, though. That's not ideal. That is not ideal. Not ideal at all. Can a non-bladed... Can a non-bladed ship kill? That's my question now. Is that a kill shot? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. If he... If they have less than a thousand health, the minion has less than a thousand, I'll do it. If it's more than a thousand, I'll just blade into a ship of fools, but like weak blade. Um, how much health? How much? 700. Okay. We just hit with ship. We just ship of fools right now. We're going to fizzle, but that's fine. Told you. But one time I'm like, we're not going to fizzle. We actually fizzle because I said we would. Oh my gosh, climber. Why the, why do you have these spells, Dr. Prune? What school are you? Oh my gosh. What What is this? This is gonna hurt. This is gonna do a buttload of damage. Ouch. Ouch! How dare you? <laughs> Excuse me, how dare you? How dare you? Um, right, we ship a fools again. Try again. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. That's the how it goes. Um... And that'll kill the minion, which is good. Very good. And then after that, we cry. A little bit. Just a little bit. We're probably going to dog Tracy, the boss, real fast. Um, if we start getting, like, desperate for health. Uh, which we shouldn't be, because we're now nearly full health, which is good. Um, actually, we might dog Tracy. Oh, no. Yeah, we'll dog Tracy. Get off the tower shield. Do a little bit of a heal, because this is going to do a little bit of damage as well. She knows spells from every single school, I swear. She's just like a, like an, uh, she is every school. She is every school. Usually Shadow just use death spells, sometimes storm spells. But like, this one, she just knows every spell. She is every school. Um, so yeah, we're going to use Dog Tracy right now, just to show you what it does. Because I used it in the last fight, but you didn't see that, so yeah. Basically, transform into him. He, he beats them with his stick. Um, we crit because we're cool. And it does a decent amount of damage, but also it heals for a random amount afterwards to all of your teammates. And a little bit less than last time. Last time I got the max roll, which was so good. So nice. It's like a thousand or something. Plus crit. It's great. Um, and what we're going to do is we are going to prism blade blade hit think that's the best bet there think that's the best bet we're do gonna get a lot of damage done if we faint so i'm gonna just not yikes that's a that's a yikes and a half definitely not gonna faint now we will blade i was gonna put the blade on her for a second i'm like mm, that's not how blades work that is not how blades work oops but it's okay don't worry i didn't do it i didn't do it i just thought that i was doing that but i didn't it's because i was talking about faints you know i get them confused all the time <laughs> <laughs> big noob um this is this is gonna do massive damage massive damage to me gonna do like 3000 yep 3500 love to say it very cool very epic love to say it um and do i blade again or do i promise us the skills we have an 86 percent chance for 1.41 damage not really worth it i don't think not really worth it i don't think not really worth it. But that's fine. This is just a want it. That's okay. That's okay. 500. Holy moly. Holy moly. Imagine you just turn up into PvP fight and you do like 500 with a want it. Crazy. Crazy. Right. Grim Reader. Hopefully this kills. If it does, that'll be good. If not, then we cry. Just kidding. We'll just follow up with the Ship of Fools and that should kill. Because she shouldn't have too much health after this. I don't actually know what her resist is or boost. Um, I'm just assuming that she resists death because most shadow people do resist death. We killed anyway, so that's good. Um, right. Curse you, dog, Tracy. You will never establish justice in this town. Yeah, yeah. You can tell me all about it from behind bars. Your buddy Pips is already there. Yes, indeed. Now ask the Bumbles thing about the mana. The Bumbles thing. <laughs> Golden lion. 
Interesting. Very interesting. I have no idea what it's saying. Yeah, you're coming too, Bumbles. Then you'll sing like a starling on open mic night. Nice work, Junior. See you back at the station. Right, let's head back to the station, and then we'll probably end off. But we need to we need to have a conclusion to this little chapter, you know. Got to have a conf conclusion to the quest. I like ending on the end of a quest because you know then we start next episode with like a different thing. Oh, that's right, we. <laughs> that's fun. I forgot that when you do that, you when you dungeon recall, you you do bad things and it sucks and I hate it so much. Please, why is that not a fixed thing? Oh well, that's okay um let's run back luckily it's a little bit closer i think oh no it's not it's just right there for all their fighting for all their sticking their nose where it doesn't belong the stranger still has nothing hmm there's that odd voice again oh look up there perhaps it's time someone stuck their nose into the stranger's business but whose nose the shadow's nose <laughs> huh she must be shy but for now let us follow dog tracy back to the station the shadow the best the best character in lemuria the shadow of course ducks that one was for you um right let us head back to the station which is this way just here ha 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 ha. Hello, Dog Tracy. Hi. Bumbles, he's in the lockup with Pips and Prune. You'll never believe the luck, Junior. Bumbles works for the Golden Lion. We know. And this Golden Lion is the original source of all the gang's mana. He's the one that made Heap such a mess. This ain't no flea collar, get me? And what about dinner, Tracy? You can't keep running yourself ragged like this. I can't eat when there's gangsters on the loose. Gangsters with mana. Rats, the lot of them. Rats shaped like cows that throw burping goblins. I won't have it. They're all primed on this new mana to get out from under the Golden Lion's paw. I gotta stop them before they tear Heap apart. These gangs do seem oppressive, like Lucian. It is good Tracy seeks to defeat them. We must talk to Bumbles, though, to find the Golden Lion's mana. Right, next episode, we will head into the lockup and uh, talk to Bumbles and hopefully get some information on Golden Line. But anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Smash like, subscribe, and as always, remember to craft outside the box. Mm -hmm.